So the first screen replacement we're going to do is when we have nothing moving in the shot, the screen's not moving and the camera's not moving. So first of all, I'm gonna find a clip where I don't obscure the screen and also nothing's moving. You can see right here, I bumped the table a little bit and then later I obscure the screen with my hand. So here's a section where everything's still and I'm not blocking anything. And I'm going to bring in this image to cover my screen. So I'm gonna drag that down on top like this. Whoops, I'm gonna drag it down on top like that. Then I'm gonna go here to the distort tool and I'm going to distort my corners to match the corners of my screen. At first, I don't need to be super precise with this. I'm just gonna get this into rough shape because then I'm gonna go up here and zoom in and get that a little bit more precise. Looking pretty good. That's a little harder to get, uh, a little harder to see there. When I'm done, I'll hit done and go back to fit. All right, that looks pretty good. Except you'll notice that on the right hand side of the laptop, it's out of focus. Although the left side of the laptop is in focus and the left side of my image looks sharp, but the right side also looks sharp, even though it really should be out of focus. And so to fix that, I'm going to use a plugin called 3D Perspective. And I picked this up over at fcpeffects.com. It's a 3D Perspective plugin and it costs $49. I'll drop that onto the clip like this. And I'm going to turn up the blur amount um, let's say to 16. Now you can see the blur is on the wrong side of the screen because this is the side that's meant to be sharp while this is the side that's meant to be out of focus. So I'm going to grab this handle here, drag that over there, drag this handle and drag it back. I think that's a little too much actually. So I'm going to pull this down maybe like that. Yeah, I think eight is about right. Check it out. Okay, I like that. So now when we play that, you can see that the right side of the screen is out of focus, just like the right side of the laptop is out of focus. I really like how that looks. Okay, next, I'm just gonna put a little gap in here. Next we'll do uh, a screen replacement where we have something moving in the shot. So you can see the camera's steady, but I'm holding a phone and it's moving a little bit. So again, I wanna choose a section of the shot where I'm not obscuring the screen. So I'll bring that down like this. And I'll take the sound out. And I wanna replace that screen for the whole time. So for this, I'll use a plugin called Track X. And I got this at coremelt.com. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's a really great plugin. And I'm gonna use the track layer effect. So I'll drag track layer right on top like this. And I'll trim that down so it fits the length of the clip underneath it. I'll bring my playhead out to the beginning and I'll click on track layer. And it helps me out here. It says, please create a shape. So I'll go here. And again, I don't have to do this too precisely yet. I'm gonna get this a little bit more accurately in just a second and I'll go like this and then I'll close the shape by going there now I'm going to zoom in and get this a little bit more accurate I'm just going to move these little green dots to more accurately cover my screen there we go okay that's better Excellent. I'll go back to fit. And now I'm going to track that shape across the phone for this whole clip. And I'll do that by clicking this track forward button. It's going to take a few seconds as it tracks the movement of my phone across the entire clip. 
And what's great about this plugin is the track is separate from the image that I'm going to place on top. So this lets me uh, put in a placeholder image so I can send it to the client for review. And then when I get the correct asset back, it's easy to drop that asset in. Um, and if something changes, I can easily change the image without having to change uh, and redo the track. So again, it's really important here that nothing obscures the screen because then if that was the case, you'd have to spend more time doing a mask, which isn't the end of the world, but does take some extra time. So we'll just let this track finish and then we'll go ahead and drop in a different uh, image to replace the screen. Cool. Okay, I've tracked that uh, image. So now I can go to surface and you can see it has a placeholder, but I'm actually going to put my image in. I'm going to go here, insert layer, and I'm going to choose this image here and I'll tap apply clip. So now you can see that's been dropped into my image and it looks pretty good. I like how that looks. Now, the only thing that I wanted was for, uh, I don't actually like how it's sort of stretching my image. So I'm going to um, go back out here to that original image. And I think it's this one. Yep. And I'm going to just rotate that to the left. I'll save that, close this. And you can see that right in here inside a final cut, it's noticed that I changed the original image and it flipped it for me. So I think that looks pretty cool. Nice. Okay. So there you go. Two ways to replace a screen, either when everything's still using the distort tool and the 3D perspective plugin, or if something is moving using uh, track layer from uh, track X from Cormel.